more about whether there's any value on the dogma or how the dogma happens. Mm -hmm. is, it ex is it experience for me when I get have feel dogmatic, which I do. I have a strong, I have a, you know, find myself falling into having a strong opinion. I just trust myself, I think, a lot. I think um, a lot of emotion comes from dogma. You know, when we think we know who someone is, we react to them. It's an objectification of a person or a situation. And that's where, that's where the uh, intensity and the, uh, the disturbing emotions come from. Like the Dalai Lama said, I read something the Dalai Lama said, he said that uh, when you feel angry at someone, try to find other qualities of that person. Because it moves you out of that state of objectification. So we have a one-dimensional um, view of someone. Um, and, but things are never one-dimensional because they're open to interpretation. They're always unfinished. You know, they're changing. So I like that. Uh, I always like the translation of Gunther's term for emptiness, open dimensionality. Open dimensionality is what leads to compassion. You know, I've said this, given this example recently, um, like when people are trained to fight in a war, you know, they're trained to objectify the enemy. Because if you don't objectify your enemy, how can you kill someone if, you know, you know they're someone's brother or someone's son? Or, you know, you look into their eyes and you see their humanness, or you see some kindness in them, you can't kill them. You need to objectify them in order to have aggression, you know. And it's the same with, um, you know, like with attachment. Like, you know, in advertising, they always present something in a one-dimensional way. It's so good, you want it, it doesn't break, you know, it's perfect. But in actuality, you know, it always breaks, and it's never <laughs> as good as you think it is. So when you, if you have an understanding, if you see it in its fuller, more open-dimensional way, you'll have a more realistic understanding of that object, and you won't be able to be so attached, even though you might get it, and it might function well. I, I, the objectification part of it is a dogma part of it. Our, fun, our own personal fundamentalism is what keeps our minds very, very small and very uh, uh, emotionally disturbed. Whereas emptiness in bodhicitta is, is so uh, open-dimensional and uh, full. <laughs> <laughs> He's my teacher, so. <laughs>